Hello, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to try a, for the third and final time with the B Gears B Blaster 140. The first one had damaged bearings. The second one had damaged bearings. This is the last try. Now, I can't really blame B Gears for this problem. You see, they're not the ones who shipped it to me. The ones who shipped it to me are Newegg. I would presume. It doesn't actually sh say here. It just says shipping department, 5200 Shea Center Drive, Ontario, Canada. Now, B Gears is an American company. So as far as I can tell, this is from Newegg. Oh, did I say California, uh, Canada? I meant Cal California, sorry. It's, it's a reflex, you know. I only recently found out that, that there's an Ontario in Canada, and, oh, sorry. <laughs> You're already doing it again. I only recently <laughs> found out <laughs> that there's an Ontario in California. So my brain hasn't quite fully, as you can tell, grasped the idea that when I see Ontario CA, it's not Ontario Canada, <laughs> it's Ontario California. Whew. I had to really focus to make sure I didn't say Canada yet again. So yeah, it's an American company. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. They put fragile on the boxes. Why do they put fragile on the boxes? Well, number one, because ball bearings are kind of sensitive. They don't handle shocks very well. Now, the larger the bearing is, the more shock it can handle. But this is not a large fan, so the balls in the bearing aren't large, so they're more susceptible to being damaged. And if the UPS people and the people in the shipping department at Newegg are not handling this fan carefully enough and packaging it correctly, well, the consequences will be that the fan's going to get damaged and most likely, most likely it'll be the bearings. Because here's how it was packaged. Let me just pop this box back in here, and I'll show you exactly how it was packaged, which is, you know, it's cost Newegg and Beegears all this money. It's packaged like that. So this is not good packaging. This is let's put it in there and fill up the extra space with some paper and see what happens kind of experiment. Not smart. So, you know, I put the blame on New egg because they're not shipping carefully. It doesn't matter if you put a fragile but, but, um, sticker on here if the packaging is wrong. And this is definitely wrong. There's no bubble wrap. There's no packaging on one side, just on the other side. So, of course, they come to me damaged. So, just want to set that record straight. I don't, I don't hold um, B Gears accountable for this because they're not the ones that are shipping it to me. Just in case people are doubtful, you know. And for that matter, I've, I've received stuff from other, or that, or that are made by other brands that were damaged as well. I mean, various brands. So, yeah. Let's go ahead now. We're going to find out for the last and final time that this is good or not. Now, when I say good, <laughs> it works. And we'll find out about the true noise level. All right, here we go. Now, if we listen to this. All I'm hearing is a very faint rubbing sound. Harmonic resonance. Another one.
third one. Okay, so that's kind of loud. Uh, maybe 25, 30 decibels. The static pressure is one plus. Not sure exactly how much. According to this, uh, it's uh, 3.5. There's no way this is 3.5 static pressure. It's, it's just no way. Now, I suppose if you were to take a cowling and put it over this and then attach that to an anemometer like the one I built for myself, that you would get a combined force of three and a half. But just based on the free experience like this, it's like it's like one. So, you know, it is what it is. It's a little bit noisy. It does okay. Um, it's good for a, in a case fan. It's potentially good for some air coolers. Certainly not anything impressive. But that's that's you know that's what we're looking for. We trying to find out which fans are worth the money. And for the money I had to pay to get this fan, it's definitely not worth it. So that's the end of it. If you want to know what the specs are, you can look at the original video, the, fir the first one, not the second one that says update, uh, the, the first one. So, but yeah, just very quickly, it goes up to 1,800 RPMs, 12 volts, 4.5 amps, uh, 5.4 watts. Um, the operating voltage range is only listed as 12, so that's not even a range, which... Yeah, I'm sorry, Beegers. Uh, I do not understand what a range means. Um, since this is a three pin, however, not a four pin, that mean that's why they listed twelve volts instead of an actual range. So you know, maybe Beegers just don't call it a range when it's not. Uh, it just kind of makes people ask questions. But you know, if you if you uh, look at the actual range that it can operate in, then you'll probably find that it runs at like 7 watt volts, I'm guessing, up to um, 12 or so. Now, the static pressure, like I said, is supposed to be 3.5 millimeters of water, 103, 103 CFMs of airflow. Okay. Maximum volume, it says, is 36. I think that's a little bit too high. Uh, two, uh, two ball bearings and... Of course, no LED lights. Comes with this adapter to go to the power supply, and of course, fan screws. And that's it. We're done. No more reviews of this one. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.